another video in today's video we are doing another interview I am all in all these interviews I've watched my last video go check it out see if it's good or not um so as you probably seen by the title I we are interviewing cats play today the uh, aka the guy the mastermind of the ships building them and all that and animated because he made the Titanic engine room. So, oh crap. I further ado, um, can I have a special guest, Cats Play 123, please walk in. Alright, something I have to say is, I'm not that good at animating. You did the big. In the. I don't know, it looks like oh, right you did there, that. that could. Yeah, but it looks like it could need a lot of work. I'm not that good at animating. I don't know, actually. You're so good at it. I mean, like, you made the two reciprocating engines. Yeah, it's it was painful impressive. to make. Painful <laughs> to make that. Anyways, so, yeah. Today we're interviewing Cats Play 1, 2, 3. If you go ahead to enjoy the video, please sure to like and subscribe. And uh, comment something. Yeah, that's a good up. So, without further ado, let's get into the interview! <laughs> the interview part of the video. So, I just pulled out my microphone for adjusting the camera. So, uh, yeah, um, if you're new here, I ask him questions, and then if he has, has any questions, he'll ask me some. Pretty straightforward. Um, so, I'll start, I guess. Um, out of all, like out of all the ships you made, like what was what was like the hardest to make? Like out of all the ships you made, hmm, I'm getting some days of it. Um, it had to have been Titanic V7 because I'm not even finished with that model yet. Like it has a oh, boiler yeah. room and a lot of interior. That's Oof. basically what that is. It's an outline of it. Yeah, it's it's an outline, that's it soon. There it is, an outline of Titanic V7. So, oh, boom. Um, yeah. It's a pretty iconic convention though. Um, do you have any questions for me? Um, not really that I can think of right now. Sometimes I have a bad memory. Okay. Um, <sighs> Alright, um, I'll go, uh, out of all the inventions or ships, whichever way you want to put us, what, what, that you have made, what is your favourite one? Of all inventions that I made? Because if so, oh, that's oh, extremely, yeah. oh, that is extremely, diff I made so many inventions, but some of them have been released. God, um, It might honestly be my William Afton set, William the Afton. like spring trap kind of corpse on it. It's just mm. truly something. <laughs> um, same question, but kind of adjusted. What is out of all the rooms you've made, what was the hardest one to make, and, and your favourite? Well, the hardest one to make is the engine room. Painful the to make that? Engine room. Yep. Um, my favourite room of all of the rooms I made has to be Late Night at Freddy's. It's extremely detailed. Ooh. I think I've played that. I'm pretty sure I have. So... Um, I'm on a question. So, I've seen an announcement lately on your things and strap do. Um, of that by Sageless. And Sageless. And he stole your life, and he stole your lifeboat, I think it was. Oh. Um, basically he actually stole the, the basic, like, V7 model. Okay. But it was actually Britannic, and he tried to turn it back into Titanic, and he blackmailed my friend Fred, 
and said if I found out, he would publish the room and give people Maker Pen. And of course, I found out, so he published the room and gave people Maker Pen to save the model, which isn't good. And he still has parts of it, he still has the model, and he's using the lifeboats in his rooms and ship wheel. It's really frustrating. Mm. I don't really make that much inventions, but I've never got any that stolen from me. I have a few inventions that are private, but I don't intend on making them public. Um, do you have any questions for me? Anything? What is your favorite room? Oh. Um, it does, is it like in rec room overall? Yeah. Uh, um, probably like uh, Titanic Legacy. That would be up there. And then you have, um, I think it's called Titanic 1912. Uh, if you yeah, want to go see one. those two rooms, they're both the same. If you, want, if you want to go see those two rooms, go to um, rating top five most best Titanic games in Rec Room. It was literally in the video that I recorded two weeks ago, I think. Space I don't know. Killer's a good friend. So yeah, it, uh, Titanic Legacy would be up there somewhat. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Titanic Legacy is like the number one Titanic game. Yeah, when you search up Titanic, like literally just Titanic Hollywood yeah. games, it's like the first thing that shows up, and then second is Titanic VR, which I kind of don't like. That's why I was... Titanic VR VR is old, and yeah, it's not good. I don't know the story of uh, of what happened. Yeah, well, you see, like, the the bridge is, like, massive. Yeah, it, like, it's strange. Like, twice the height as you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's strange, like, I remember it being good, and then all of a sudden it just got very worse, and Collision just got terrible. Yeah. Don't know what happened to it. And then Titanic Legacy came on, came on. Yep. And then just, I just went from kind of going down, to just snapping in half and going all the way down. And it, it has yet to hit the bottom. The kid's legacy is so, becoming a bit stale. Yeah, there's not really like, uh, replayability. Kind of updates of the game. Apparently, really my friend has stuff. um host. I think apparently, like the reason why there's so much like ink, it's like under the actual like Titanic, like the playable part. There's another one for like. Nope, um, there's not another one. It's actually the same model of the wreck. The when it sinks, it goes into the wreck position. It's not two models. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Because I was confused. I was like, why would you make two models? Exactly. Ah, well, it's another thing learned. Um. I don't really know what to say, really. Um, well, we'll just end it there. I've run out of questions. Um, I guess I'm going to have to see get over Titanic 3-7. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, another question is, when do you plan to release your uh, Titanic V7? I actually can't, but um, I do plan on making rooms of it, one where it's sailing, where there's, you know, daytime, nighttime, sunrise, mm. sunset, all those kind of stuffs, and then another one where it's sinking, where there'll be multiple sinking theories, like, you know, like, there's a lot, like, the, uh, Titanic movie theory, the um, Kubrick. night to remember, no, nothing <laughs> to <laughs> That'd be too hard. <laughs> yeah, the way that it's built can't allow that to happen. And for the sinking one, I plan to have boiler room and also, like, oh, a full 3D Carpathia that will come and rescue. 
I plan to do stuff that Space Killer hasn't done. And of course there's the third room, which is where you explore the wreck of Titanic. Oh, we, well, there'll be more of that. One of my friends went on wreck of him. I think it was, uh, Britannic, uh, explore the wreck of Britannic. Yeah. So, this is it. Uh, if you enjoyed the interview, we still have a bonus clip, so don't be going anywhere. Literally, just wait for what the transition. The and clip? Find the there it is. So, um, without further ado, let's get into a bonus clip, really. So, yeah. Hello guys, this is Future Me here. The room that you're about to see, we are not using in our film project, which we wish we could. And thanks for listening. Bye. We got the wheelhouse. Wheelhouse has actual good phones that don't look like they're from Walmart. Something I don't understand is how Space Killer's Titanic Legacy game is so very low detailed. Yet, for some re reason, I'm able to make all of this, and all lifeboats, all lifeboats are separate, and funnels, and the wires for the funnels are separate. And I just don't understand Space Killer, what he's done that makes it so hard for him to add detail. So, you know, you got your standard inside, but you got Marconi room. Marconi room skylight, and of course chair. This in the game will actually work to contact um, Carpathia. It will be able to work. Some grand staircase, but we can go outside because outside there's more detail. Because well, you're gonna spend more time outside than inside. You got lifeboats. They have interior of lifeboats, because of course they have. You got collapsibles, you got the cutaways, you got Titanic funnels. You're also able to climb the um, ladders of the funnels and stand on the platforms. Don't know if I'm going to have those in the sinking game. You got, of course, the best part, the grand staircase, with an actual real dome. A beautiful dome. I do plan on changing some stuff, like this statue will have more detail. Right now it's basically Titanic Legacy statue. Basically, this entire ship has a lot of detail. Up here, there's, you know, small box piano. There's windows for the promenade. Just to make the ship feel a bit more open. Like, like, there is a lot of detail, like, you could spend, like, an entire hour on a video of this, and you probably wouldn't have been able to see everything. So here we are on this part, I forget, oh, oh deck, deck, B deck, you got a cool part over here, cameraman over here. You don't know that in here is actually private promenade and first class, I think, stateroom, I think. I haven't done all of the rooms, just this one. Don't know if I'm going to add more or not. This ship is not exactly all finished. So I guess we can go down another floor. Also, I have done a... Um, a texture 
kind of thing of creating the stairs. So the top part is white and side part is brown. You got your... I forgot what this is. I think beneath us is reception room, so I don't know what this is. Reception dex or something. Either way, it's small, detailed, but it is, it is a place. Kind of modeled after uh, Titanic VR, the uh, the wreck game. You got the safe here. So, yeah. So, I guess we can go down into the reception room. Which is D-Deck. You got your thing. I forgot what this is. Basically, like a candle paint or something. You got a grand piano. I also did a texture glitch with the uh, keys. The keys are only two objects. So over here you got um, dining, first class dining room. Haven't had tables, might add tables for the daytime. So it's not that detailed, but you know, it's, it's more detailed than space. So there's. So over here you got a door, and what's cool about this door is, you know, the door, it's open up, the door is able to open up, because in the sink in the door apparently is open, so it'll be one of the things that's opened, and the wreck as well. So if we go down, we can do a very beautiful shot, basically honor and glory, where you go here and you look up. Yeah. You know, we're just here at the staircase part. We haven't even gone to, to this hallway that leads to third class open space. And yeah, Scotland Road. So down here we have Man, I I sometimes cannot remember some things. I believe this is yeah, I can't even think. Oh well. This place, still on the wreck, that is in good condition. And over here you got pool. Pool. An actual pool that doesn't use outside water. There's a reason why it doesn't use outside water. It is because... Oh. Uh, you know, you can see from this hallway we have, you know, over there would be a third class dining room, dining saloon. But, but we can, you know, look at a very cool thing, and that's a boiler room. Actually goes to the bottom of the ship. So, yeah, water ain't inside this ship. Now it's daytime, so it doesn't look that good. At nighttime, the boiler room is perfect. But it still looks pretty good. Of course, you got a uh, cargo area, you got fireman's area in the hallway, I think? Yeah, you got, of course, Titanic car. The famous that car. Which, I mean, I made the car because I was bored, and eh, it's a pretty nice car. Who knows, maybe... Maybe some people think that they could sneak there and then die from iceberg collision for the sinking. Because if, you know, when it sinks, that's going to be an amazing part. Over here, you got some third class area. I'm pretty sure this would lead down into that fencing area. You got hallway that goes to there. I think Molly Brown's room was somewhere there. You got this area, which for some reason I like this. A door would be right here. Don't know where it went to, but a door would be there. And of course here as well. So up here, here we got a third class open space. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.